Hey guys, welcome back to Oda class. My name is Sushant Srivastava and today we're going to discuss about most difficult question of NTSC. So as your NTSC exam is very nearby, stage 2 you have to write now. So you must be wondering what kind of questions can be difficult, what kind of questions can be there. So here I am with a series of NTSC most difficult question. And in today's video, I have selected two questions which are based on one topic. In fact, that topic is well known, sequence and series or you can call it as arithmetic progression for that matter and in today's uh, video I'm gonna give you one trick as well based on arithmetic progression which can be quite handy for your NTSC exam so let's begin with the first question guys so the first question that I have selected in fact before the first question there's some theory that I want you to recall related to arithmetic progression if I say there is an arithmetic progression with the first first term as a common difference as D then there are two things which you should know first is the n term can be given by tn as a plus n minus 1 into d and the second thing which I'll be using in today's video which is sum of n terms is n by 2 to a plus n minus 1 into d and then there is another result which you might not be aware of so I'm going to talk about this result in bit detail way when I solve that question and that result is n term can be given as sum of n terms minus sum of n minus 1 term. So this is one result which will be quite useful. It's not there in NCRT. So you can memorize this now and you can use it in your final exam as well. So let's begin with the first question guys. And the first question that I have selected over here, it's of NTSC stage 1 2018 and this question was there in Maharashtra paper and the question is very good actually. Let's read the question first. In an arithmetic progression, there are n terms and there these n terms are actually odd number of terms and middle term is m, then what is SN. Okay, so there are two methods to solve this question. I will give you one trick to solve this question and one standard method as well. So let's use this information. First thing that they have given is n is odd. So when I talk about odd numbers, general form of odd number I can write to be 2k plus 1. So I can say that n is nothing but 2k plus 1. Now when I say middle term is m, so if 2k plus 1 terms are there, then what will be the middle term? That's the first question, right? So if I say there are odd number of terms which are named as t1, t2, t3 and so on, and there is some middle term and then you have t2k plus 1 and I'm targeting about middle term. So can I say if 2k plus 1 terms are there, so half of this side, half of this side and this is the middle term, right? So can I say these number of terms are nothing but k terms and these are also k terms. So what will be the middle term? Can I say this is k term and this is the next one. So this middle term is nothing but tk plus 1. Now middle term is already given as m. So I can write tk plus 1 as a plus k plus 1 minus 1 into d. So what is this formula? This is n term formula. Now tk plus 1 value is already given as m. So let's substitute that and you get a is equal to a, m is equal to sorry a plus kd right now this is one information that you get to learn right now i'm gonna use this information to find sum of n terms so sum of n terms which can also be given as sn now sn can also be written as as 2k plus 1 because we have already assumed n value as 2k plus 1 right so if i substitute that you get 2k plus 1 by 2 into 2a plus 2k plus 1 minus 1 into d. Now 2k plus 1 will be as it is over here and if I simplify the things which are there in the bracket I'm gonna get 2a and this 1 and 1 cancel so can I say 2 times a plus kd. Now with that information a plus kd is already m so let's me substitute that in fact this 2k plus 1 I can plug in again as n so we get sn is equal to n by 2 twice of m and 2 and 2 cancels so sn is equal to mn. So this is one standard solution which you might find in some textbook as well and as I promise you guys that I'll give you one trick as well so let's talk about that trick which will be quite handy for you okay guys. So for that trick what I'm gonna do actually this time 
I'm gonna take Sn is equal to T1 plus T2 plus T3 up to some Tn. Right? These are n terms. This is how you write sum of series. Right? Now, the trick is sum of terms which are equally distinct from the beginning and from the last remains constant for AP. So that is, if I talk about T1 plus Tn will be equal to T2 plus Tn minus 1. That will be equal to T3. T3 and along with T3 you will have Tn minus 2. So let me write that thing. So you get T3 plus Tn minus 2 and so on. And if n is odd, then this will be twice of middle term if n is odd. If n is odd. So this is one information which you can memorize as well. It will be quite helpful for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this trick and I'll show you how to come up with this thing. So Sn is T1 plus T2 plus T3 and so on up to Tn and then I'm going to just reverse these terms So because when you reverse the terms you don't change the sum of the series some of the series will still be same because you're still having the same term it's just that you are changing the order of the term right so we get Sn is equal to Tn so last time right I'm writing first similarly second last which is Tn minus 1 I'm, I'm writing here Tn minus 1 and then Tn minus 2 and so on this will be T1 now I'm going to add these two things. Now this is where the whole thing will become very simplified because when I add and in the question it's already given that n is odd. So t1 plus tn this particular pair will get you the value as twice of middle term where middle term is m. So can I say this will be 2m. Similarly, T2 plus Tn minus 1, I have written that as well as twice of middle term. So this will also be 2m. Again, next will also be 2m and so on 2m. And here you get 2sn. Now 2m is coming how many times guys? It's coming n times. So can I write the whole thing as 2sn is equal to 2m into n and this 2 and 2 cancels and you get sn is equal to mn very quickly using this trick. So did you guys like this trick? If you have liked this trick, do like this video as well. I'm going to move on to the next question guys. Okay, let's see what is the next question. And the next question as I give you give I have given you additional result as well. So I'm going to use that result to make this problem very simple for you guys. So let's see what is the question. If the sum of n terms of an arithmetic progression is Sn equal to 2n square plus 3n, then its common difference is how much? Okay, so this is relatively an easy problem if you know that result. So what was the result? If I talk about Tn, that is actually Sn minus Sn minus 1. Now with the property of AP, common difference D can be given as Tn minus t and minus 1 as well okay so these two things now we know and i'm gonna work on the solution now so sn is already given which is nothing but 2n square plus 3n let's figure out what is sn minus 1 so sn minus 1 will be you just replace n with n minus 1 you get 2 times n minus 1 whole square plus 3 times n minus 1 and I'm going to subtract these two. So when you do subtract these two, you get Sn minus Sn minus 1 over here. Here 2 common n square minus n minus 1 whole square. So you can use a square minus b square. You'll get a plus b a minus b and you get 2 times 2n minus 1. Similarly, if you subtract these two, you get plus 3. So the whole thing comes out to be 4n plus 1. Now with this result, Tn which is Sn minus Sn minus 1 will come out to be 4n plus 1. Now if you want common difference you could use this result or what you could do you can find T1 which will be 5. You can find T2 which will be nothing but substitute n equal to 2 over here and you will get actually 9. And common difference will be nothing but T2 minus T1 which will be 9 minus 5 
or you could say four. So for this question, answer will be four. So this is how you use this result. And if you don't know this result, it's gonna be a very difficult problem. So here we had two questions related to sequence series. And if you have understood these two questions, do like this video. And if you want me to make such more videos, and you want a particular topic in the next video, do write in the comment box and do subscribe to Oda class for these amazing videos. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.